welcome back for the next episode in the mini scrapbook series. Even if you're not making a scrapbook at home, I hope you're enjoying the videos because each and every episode features techniques and tips. In today's show, I'll be making tags for a pocket page and I'll show you how to make wrinkles. Wrinkles? In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make ruffles. I'm using the second tabbed page that comes in the My Creations 3 ring binder. Open the rings and position the page as shown. Mark the new bottom of the page. Score on this line and fold up for the pocket. Since you covered up part of the bottom hole, you'll need to repunch it. Distress the edges with brown ink. I'm going to do this all through the book, even if I don't tell you every time. Cover the front of the pocket with cardstock and then repunch the hole. Now let's make the paper ruffle. I've cut a thin strip of patterned paper. I'm going to ink and distress the edges. Scissor distressing gives a worn edge to the paper. It gives a rougher appearance than sandpaper, but a finer appearance than tearing. Keeping your fingers close together and working a little bit at a time, crumple the paper. Gently smooth out the paper slightly for the next step. Holding down one side of the paper, accordion pleat the entire strip. This is not a perfect science, just mess around with it until it looks right. You'll see that your very long strip becomes a much shorter strip. You'll need a second piece of paper, distressed in the same way, to complete this ruffle. I use a quick drying tacky glue. Once it's dry, it holds your ruffle securely. Work in short sections. It allows you to manipulate the ruffle as you place it, and it also keeps your glue from getting all over the place. To seamlessly blend in the second piece, fold under the cut edge. You can use your fingers to pat and push along the top edge of the ruffle until the tacky glue makes a good, solid contact. That works if you're patient. If you're not, use clips like me. For extra dimension, I'm flipping up the free edges of the ruffle with my fingers. Apply a line of tacky glue and cover the top with rickrack. Pat just gently enough to make a good bond with the ribbon, but don't press so hard that the glue seeps through to the front. Now you can close the sides of your pocket. Use glue dots or your favorite strong adhesive. Since the ruffle covered up the hole, you'll need to punch it again. Punch a hole in the end of the tab. Okay, this is where I messed up. I added the ribbon too soon. I'll show you when you're supposed to add it, later. Now we're going to make three tags to put into the pocket. This one has rounded corners, sanded edges, and stamped lines for journaling. I used to struggle with making even diagonal cuts for this type of tag. Once I learned this method, they always come out great. No need to measure, just cut the first line at an angle. Flip over the discarded piece and use it as a guide for your second cut.
Now I'm making a smaller tag in cranberry red. Since the red is a deep color, I'm going to lighten it up by sanding the entire piece. Did you know that Close to My Heart cardstock has a white core? When you sand it, you expose the white. By creating the tags in different sizes and shapes, it makes the page more interesting. Now you see why I added the ribbon too soon. I have to take it out so I can cover the back page. Trace the page onto a pattern paper, cut it out and attach to the page. Sandpaper will take off any excess overhang quickly. Why do I have to keep re-punching the holes? Because if I wait until the very end, I might not be able to find the holes and where they are. I could put them in the wrong place. Now it's time to add your ribbon. Cut a narrow photo mat for this back page. Round the corners and sand. Embellish with buttons and a crocheted flower. Welcome back for the next episode. <laughs> Even if you're not following along at home, because each episode features tips and techniques. Oops. <laughs> because each and every tip. <laughs> okay. Because each episode features te techniques. <laughs> <laughs>